right, here's the problem we're looking at today. We've got 8 to the power of 2020 minus 4 to the power of 2020. And the question is, what's the final digit of that number uh, in scientific form or standard notation or whatever? And by final digit, I mean the units digit of that number. So we can start by focusing on each of the components individually. We've got 8 to the power of 2020. We can start out with that. And the key to these problems is finding a repetition in the final digit. Let's start out with 8 to the power of 2020. 8 to the power of 1 is obviously 8. 8 squared is 64. Cubed is 512. And to the fourth is 4096. Now, I could keep going, but uh, we can just use the final digit. The rest of it doesn't really matter. We're just looking at that final digit. So I'll keep writing these out. So we can see that the last one here ended in 6. So 8 to the 5th will have to end in 8. Because 8 times 6 is 48. So we can make that conclusion. 8 to the 6th, the last digit will end in 4. Because 8 times 8 is 64. That 8 is what we're looking at. Then we'll keep going. 8 to the 7th. So now we're looking at this 4 and multiplying by 8. So we know that 8 to the 7th will end in 32. Or not necessarily 32, but it'll end in 2. Then 8 to the 8th, that'll end in 6 because we're multiplying the 2 by an 8. And if you look at what we've got so far, you can see there's a pattern. 8, 4, 2, 6, 8, 4, 2, 6. And then that pattern just repeats forever. So I've rewritten the pattern here with the exponents underneath. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the final digit of 8 to that power on top here. So we've got 8, 4, 2, 6, 8, 4, 2, 6, and this continues into infinity, right? The same pattern over and over again. And we're trying to find the 2020th, 2020th number, would be 8 to the 2020, and we're going to find the final digit in that pattern. So 8, 4, 2, 6, Finding the 2020th version, we can see that every multiple of 4, every multiple of 4 ends in 6. And because 2020 is a multiple of 4, we know that it's going to end in 6 as well. So 8 to the 2020th will end in 6. So I made a note of that on the side if you can read my handwriting. So now let's move to 4 to the 2020th power. That's this right here. That's this component. So again, we're just doing the same thing. We're looking for patterns. Uh, 4 to the 2020th, we can start out by listing powers of 4. We've got 4 to the 1st, 4 to the 2nd, 4 cubed, 4 to the 4th, and we'll get started. So 4 to the 1st is obviously 4. 4 squared is, you guessed it, 16. 4 cubed is 64. 4 to the 4th is 256. And let's do two more just to be safe here. 4 to the 5th is 1024, and this is 4096. So the pattern here is actually easier than the other one. Uh, it ends in 4, this one ends in 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, and that continues on to infinity. So now I'm rewriting the exact same pattern, just like we did with 8. We've got the exponents on the bottom, and we've got the and we've got the final digit on top. That's abbreviated FD. So now we get to the 2020th term in the sequence. So we're trying to find the final digit, 4 to the 2020. You can see that every other one, every even one, the second one, this is the fourth one, every even exponent of 4 will end in 6. Except for obviously 4 to the 0, but that's 1. But other than that, every even power of 4 should end in 6. So we can say the same thing about 4 to the 2020th, since that's obviously even. And we know that this ends in 6. Okay, so now we've got our two components separated, and we've got them both with key information. They both end in 6. So now we can say, because it's we've got this component, and this component is being subtracted from this one, we know that the answer will have to be just the subtraction of the final digits themselves, or 6 minus 6 equals 0. That should be our final answer. So for some more explanation on that last step, you can think about it as this. There's some garbage here. That's the 8 to the 2020th. And this is 4 to the 2020th, which is some garbage followed by a 6. And when we subtract them, we're going to end up with something, something here. We don't really know what it is. 
but we do know that the final digit will be zero because the six and the six cancel out. And because the six and six cancel out, the final digit of the overall equation, eight to the 2020th minus four to the 2020th has to end in zero. So let's do one more problem just to make sure we've really got it. We've got four to the power of 200 plus five to the power of 100 and we're not asking for the whole thing, we're just finding that final digit. So we can get started by separating this equation into its individual components, four to the 200 and five to the 100. Starting with four to the 200, this is basically, we've already seen this pattern, right? Four to the 200, it goes four and 16, which ends in six, 64 ends in four, 256 ends in six, we, we already know that pattern. And we know that every even one ends in six. So four to the 200th, because 200 is even, will also end in six. So I made a note of that up there. Now, five to the 100th, we haven't seen this pattern before, so we can go ahead and try writing it out. Five to the first is just five. We'll write the exponents on top this time. Exponents, and this is the fi oops, final digit. So the exponent, so five squared would be 25. 5 cubed is 125, 5 to the 4th is 625, 5 to the 5th, 3125. And we can see that all the final digits end in 5. So 5 to the 100th would also have to end in 5. It'd be some garbage followed by 5, which is really all we care about is that final digit. All right, so now we've got our two components here. We've got this one ends in 6 and this one ends in 5 and we're adding them together, so six plus five gives us 11, and the final digit of that is one. And to clarify, that doesn't mean the next digit is also a one, it doesn't mean that the tens digit is a one. All we really know is that the last digit is a one. That tens, tens place right here, that might be carried on to the rest of the garbage that's in front of this. So you don't know what's going to happen to that one, and you don't know what the rest of the number is, but you do know that the final answer to our question is that this expression will have a unis digit of 1.